Good evening and welcome to our Royal High School. Would you all please stand and join in the singing of our national anthem. Please give the a cappella choir under the direction of Miss Mary Turner, director, a round of applause, please. I'd like to start this evening's activities with some introductions. Representing the District Board of Trustees, Mr. David A. Flores, member. Mr. Ernesto B. Viegas, member. Mr. David R. Sandell, Superintendent of the Almonte Union High School District. Mr. Robert E. Maez, Assistant Superintendent of Instruction. Mr. Anthony Ortega, Principal of Royal High School. Mr. James White, Assistant Principal for Instruction. Ms. Nikki Buckholtz, Assistant Principal for Student Services. And my name is Gary Jensen, Assistant Principal for Activities. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you this year's Senior Class President with this evening's address of welcome, Mr. Matthew Parson. graduates, families, teachers, friends, administration, and anyone else not mentioned. During the past four years, the class of 98 has gone through many changes, the first of which was the step into high school. Our freshman year was one where we stood out like a sore thumb. Everyone knew we were freshmen. The first day showed the most of, well, the first day showed the most with many of us trying to find our classes with a map of the campus. I was one of them. We had taken our first step into a whole new world. As we progressed into our sophomore year, we finally felt at home, like we had a place here at Arroyo. It was then where we finally began to fit in, not making the same mistakes we made our freshman year. We started to get active in school activities and clubs, such as the fishing club, ASB, key club, CSF, and the science club. It was there where we started to pave ourselves a road to follow, at Arroyo and throughout our life. It was this year that we got an idea on a career for our future. Most of us were very excited on the career we chose. Using our planned career, we searched for a path to lead to that career. For most of us, it was through higher education. During our junior year, we began excelling in all we did. We grew closer and closer together as we worked with one another. We made varsity sports, earned good grades, and took high leadership positions too. 
We took our SATs and ACTs for one of the last times and began to take the first steps onto the path towards our highest goals. For our senior year, success came with acceptances to colleges and universities or military and work. It was this year that Arroyo became a second home to us all. Not because the school work, we had all been ready to get away from that already, but because of the friends and relationships that we've had here. This is what we will always cherish in our memories. A fellow senior and a good friend of mine has summed up our senior year in a sonnet that he wrote for a writing assignment in Mrs. Sweeney's class. This person wishes to remain, remain nameless. He has entitled his sonnet, A Poem of a Senior. In the fall, he will be one of the newest Trojans at USC. He wrote, We're tired like the movements of a snail, barely breathing like a fish on dry land. Working like an immigrant out of jail, the memories gained through the years are grand. Seniors steady asleep, many lose hair. Those who do nothing will not graduate. Drunk with knowledge, there is no more to bear. The fate we create is not to be late. Test, test, more tests. We must study to pass. Too much information to remember. Force equals acceleration times mass. No time to spend with the other gender. We still must work harder for the time is near to belong to the graduating class. It's 1998, the time is here. We've faced high school's challenges, we've passed. The finals and the SATs are done. We have no more to fear this year, we cheer. We restlessly await to have some fun. Still, inside, our soul speaks to us with tears. If you could see the sorrow in our hearts, for we know that our best friends we must leave. We're reaching a new point on our life's chart where we choose a path in which we believe. These last four years have been of great success. The challenges of college will come soon. No senior should expect of any less than to stand with his class come June. Like leaving any loving family, it will be hard to leave what we called our second home behind and move on. The memories of Arroyo will never leave us but will be there to think back on and motivate us in the future. And now I'd like to ask for one last yell for the class of 1998. <laughs> class of 1998, I will miss you all. Good luck in your futures and never give up on your dreams. See you in 10 years. This evening's class address will be given by the class of 1998 salutatorian, Mr. Nicholas Kunka. so I'll try to keep this as brief as I can without damaging the honor and respect that the class seated behind me deserves. <clears throat> How do I begin to describe the class of 1998? In four short years, each and every one of us has succeeded and failed, loved and lost, dreamed and despaired. And along this roller coaster of a ride, we have accomplished much to be proud of. Seated among the graduated, graduating class are some of the most talented athletes the school has ever known. Some of the most intelligent and most dedicated and involved students that any teacher or administrator could ever ask for. And also several ghetto superstars. But anyways, this evening is the big payoff for all the work that we've done. Four years of insomnia, tears, sweat, and emotion. And we received a piece of paper with our name on it that we get to show off to our kids later on. But more importantly, we receive a key to the future. Uh, all we have to worry about now is turning down the music a little so we can hear opportunity knocking. In high school, we've learned patience, perseverance, pride, procrastination. Well, not really procrastination because otherwise none of us would be seated before you now. But the class of 1998 will be remembered for many good things, many big things. How many of us went to big universities, how much money and scholarships we all got for surviving El Nino. Um, but I will remember them for their determination 
for the strength and pride hidden behind the courageous smiles that persisted on weary faces day after day, month after month, year after year. High school is a stressful experience, and I'm constantly amazed by my classmates' resilience and grace under pressure. The fact that they could take all that high school life has to offer and still have a smile is a great accomplishment. We are definitely not the same group of savvy teenagers that we entered high school as. We have matured and grown with each new experience. Each joy and each pressure has changed us into the individuals that we are today. The maturation of a child into an adult is a painful process and a costly one too. We lose our innocence and sometimes we're forced to sacrifice what was very dear to us beyond expression. <clears throat> Along the way we've solidified priceless and timeless friendships. We bounded together we bound it together to stay afloat amid the turbulent sea of toil and personal trouble that life always is. There is strength in numbers, they say, and as you look at the class before you, you must realize how strong and fortified we stand as a group. As we rely on one another, our personal successes and pains become the pains and successes of the entire class. Each subtle personal epiphany, each grade A paper, each new track record or academic decathlon medal is something that the whole class is proud of. Our pride has been well earned. We've been through a lot, but none of us has overloaded or had a nervous breakdown or anything. And we've succeeded more often than we've failed. But the failures were victories as well because they marked our development and our growth. Whatever, whatever doesn't hurt you will only make you stronger. And Arroyo hasn't hurt us. The class of 1998 is a class of achievers powered by our lofty dreams and indomitable ambition. Our success will not end here. And I have every confidence that it will be my fellow classmates that will be the ones to set the moral and intellectual standards in the coming millennium. On behalf of the graduating class of 1998, I would like to sincerely thank the faculty, the families, the friends, and all the other individuals who have touched our lives and inspired us to be the young men and women that we are today. We couldn't have made it without you, and we only hope that we've made you proud along the way. Thank you. This evening's farewell address will be given by this year's class of 1998 valedictorian, Mr. Tree Liu. members of graduates here tonight are very proud, and they ought to be. This evening is certainly a memorable one, a special one. For those of you who have already graduated, this is a way for you to relive that special moment in your life. And for the younger members of the audience, let this graduation ceremony be a motivating factor for you to succeed in school other than the perpetual nagging from your parents. More importantly, however, this evening is proof to the graduates that staying awake in class and paying attention will pay off later on. Indeed, we have worked hard and put forth our best. Who can forget the many hours we spent studying for finals and the many nights we stay up doing homework and term papers? Hey, procrastination or not, it's hard work staying up late to study when Jeleno is on. The point is, we all have made sacrifices so we can be here tonight. But you know, we also attribute our success to our teachers and families. They too have sacrificed for us. So on behalf of the class of 1998, I want to thank you, the families and teachers for your generosity, love and guidance. Now, I don't mean one of those, yeah, yeah, whatever kind of thank you. Uh-uh, I'm talking about one of those, oh my God, you have changed our lives and we would be nothing without you kind of thank you. Now, now it's time to say goodbye though. It's time to say goodbye to those sweet memories, but it's also time to say goodbye to those bitter regrets. Yes, regrets. All of us have things that we wish that we could have done differently. But not to worry though, because life is like, well life's like hometown buffet, you know? Maybe that chicken didn't turn out the way you thought it would, but that's okay. Now is the time to get a new plate. Now is the time to get a clean slate. 
Now is the time to make good of what is bad and better of what is good. Now it's time for us to move on and to prove to you, our parents, that we have matured enough to be able to handle our own responsibilities. You were there when the sea was calm, and you were there when it was turbulent. But now, we must complete the voyage on our own. We realize, at this age, we have more than strangers to worry about. But the journey of life requires that we both let go, you of us and we of you. The future is challenging, yet promising, distant yet near. And whatever it has to offer, we will face it without fear. Thank you. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our first year principal making the presentation of the senior class of 1998, Mr. Anthony Ortega. and pleasure in welcoming you to the commencement exercise for the class of 1998. We are commemorating our 43rd year of service in this community. Graduation service services are a ceremony honoring those young people that have earned the right to be recognized for their dedication to completing all requirements that the Board of Education has required for all students. Therefore, it is our wish that these ceremonies will be given the proper respect. Last year, I had the privilege of being here as a guest, and I was most impressed by the dignity and respect that the students had for this ceremony and that the families presented in the stands. As the principal of Arroyo High School, it is indeed a privilege for me to introduce to you our honored guests once again, who have been instrumental in developing and influencing quality educational programs available at Arroyo High School and within the El Monte Union High School District. Our first guests are members of the El Monte Union High School Board of Trustees. I'd like to introduce trustee member Mr. Ernesto Villegas and trustee member, also clerk of the board, Mr. David Flores. Our next guests represent the central administration of our district. I'd like to introduce the superintendent of the El Monte Union High School District, Mr. David Sandell. <laughs> next, I'd like to introduce the assistant superintendent of educational services, Mr. Robert Maez. <laughs> A school the size of Arroyo in order to run effectively and efficiently, it takes a strong team of talented individuals. I have been blessed with, a ta with talent and strength on my team. They are a caring, creative, and sensitive to the needs of our students and our staff. Please allow me to introduce to you once again, Mr. James White, Assistant Principal of Instruction. <laughs> Ms. Nikki Bokholz, Assistant Principal for Student Services. Mr. Gary Jensen, Assistant Principal of Activities. I would like to take this time and opportunity to recognize two very exceptional members of the class of 98. They are exceptional in that it has taken them much longer than the other members of the class of 98 to complete their requirements for their graduation. In actuality, the two of them together have spent 62 years here at Arroyo High School. The graduate I'd like to introduce entered Arroyo High School in the fall of 1964. She immediately made herself known on our campus in the area of dance. In fact, she choreographed Arroyo High School's first musical production. 
Additionally, this graduate was very much involved in girls' athletics and co-curricular programs. In 1984, this graduate moved from the physical education department to the guidance office, where she has served as a counselor for the past 14 years. After 34 years of service at Arroyo High School, to our students and community, she has decided to retire and relocate to the Palm Springs area. Please join me in recognizing Mrs. Connie Isaac. Connie, would you please? The next graduate I'd like to recognize for the class of 98 arrived at Arroyo High School in the fall of 1970. Immediately upon his arrival, he began to specialize in the area of industrial arts, specifically in the area of drafting and mechanical drawing. In addition, he has taught woodshop, graphic arts, and mathematics. After 28 years of service to Arroyo and our community, he too has decided to retire and will be relocating him and his family to Oceanside. Please join me in recognizing Mr. Howard Randall. Howard, please stand. I would also like to take this last opportunity to recognize our assistant principal of instruction, Mr. Jim Hoy, who will be leaving us here at Arroyo High School. Effectively July 1st, Mr. White will assume the duties as the assistant principal of instruction at Almani High School. Truly, our loss is Almani's gain. Mr. White has been a loyal and worthy knight. He has been a friend, a confident, and a valuable member of our staff. All of us in the Arroyo family wish him much success in his new assignment. Please, please join me in congratulations and offering best wishes to our two retirees and Mr. White. The class of 98 has become an exceptional class and the one that is very special to me. As a new principal of Arroyo High School, the class of 98 is my very first graduating class. This class has continued to maintain the highest level of achievement in the areas of academics and athletics, a level of success that has been characteristic of Arroyo since its inception in 1955. There is a wealth of talent in this class, whether it be in the area of fine arts, creative arts, academics, and of course in the area of athletics. In the area of academics, we have students graduating tonight that are simply outstanding. A large number of our students have already enrolled and accepted at colleges and universities for next fall. Many of them have received academic scholarships, grants, and honors at entrance. In fact, the class of 98 has earned $65,000 in scholarships and an additional $70,000 in grants for a total of $135,000 to assist them in furthering their education and futures. This class tremendous athletic talents continue to compile records of wins for both boys and girls sports that cannot be matched by any of the schools in our surrounding area. Most recently, Arroyo celebrated its second annual Renaissance Assembly where over 1,200 students were recognized for academic achievement and improvement. One area that I would like to highlight at this time are those students who have maintained perfect attendance for all four years while here at Arroyo High School. I'm going to ask them to please stand and I ask that you please hold your applause because I have a special presentation to make at the end. I'd like to recognize for perfect attendance the following students. Julia Chan, Joshua Dingling, Ty Du, Jimmy Joe, Peter Joe, Fi Yi Hua, Shek Lam, Thomas Long, Tri Lu, Tu Nguyen, Vin Vong. It wasn't until this weekend that I was made aware of the fact that there is another one in the audience, or in our, our seats. One of our graduates has maintained perfect attendance for 13 years. That's from kindergarten through his senior year. I have a special award for that student, and in the future, we will present this award at our Renaissance Assembly. 
Please allow me to read this to you, and I'd like the student to come forward. Awarded to Kevin Vargas in recognition of 13 years of perfect attendance. Kindergarten through sixth grade, Sherry Lee Elementary School. Seventh and eighth grade, Durfee. And ninth through twelfth grade, Arroyo High School, presented June 18, 1998. Please join me in acknowledging all of those students. It is very pleasing to be the principal of school where you have a class that has demonstrated the leadership qualities that have been exhibited by the class of 98. It is my opinion that this graduating class will produce outstanding success stories during their lifetime. It is hoped that Arroyo High School in some small measure helped each of you to improve upon the multitude of individual talents presented in this class. Just as your present life has been touched by your school, we want to remind you students that your future life will also touch us here at Arroyo High School. My final remarks are reserved for you, the graduating class of 98. Over the past several years, you have worked and studied, practiced and played, grown mentally as well as physically. And now you are here to begin your life as a member of the adult community. We, as educators, and you, as students, have done our jobs. Now we stand together at the gateway, on the other side of which is the world, with all that it offers and all that it demands. Some of you, this will mean a job and the responsibilities of family life. For others, this will mean college, and additional years of studying and preparation. As you say farewell to us, we say hello to tomorrow. Grab a hold of that tomorrow, using what you have learned in the past, build into a bright and shining future. It is the hope and prayer of everyone here this evening that your pathway will be straight and true, and that your destination will be golden with happiness and alive with vibrant promise. Luck, success, and happiness to you, the graduating class of 1998. Yours is the earth and everything that is in it. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call up Mr. Ernesto Villegas. Would you please come forward to receive the class on behalf of the Almani Union High School Board of Trustees? Mr. Villegas, as principal of Arroyo High School, I hereby certify that the 1998 graduating class of Arroyo High School has met the requirements and satisfactorily completed the four-year course of study as prescribed by the State of California Department of Education and the Almani Union High School District Board of Trustees. Having done so, I declare this class is eligible to receive their diplomas of graduation. Mr. Villegas, I place this class in your capable hands. gentlemen, class of 1998, my name is Ernesto Villegas, and I'm very honored to be here today on behalf of the El Monte Union High School District and its Board of Education. This is indeed a, an important day, and I am delighted to share it with you, your families, friends, teachers, and all of those who care for you and love you and have been very instrumental in giving you their support and enthusiasm so you may graduate today. This is only a continuation of your education and your life. There is a world of opportunities out there, and with hard work, perseverance, and dedication, you can meet the challenges ahead, whether it's university, technical school, the military, or work. Do not allow anything or anyone to hold you back from fulfilling your dreams and accomplishing in life what is yours. 
opportunity to success for everyone to excel and be successful. Only you can determine what your life will be. Always strive to be more than your best on whatever you choose to do so that your future will be spectacular, profitable, and rewarding. Be honest and concerned for others. Ahora, si me lo permiten, quiero enviar un caluroso saludo a ustedes, los familiares, amigos y maestros que han contribuido a la superación de estos jóvenes. Confío que ellos no nos defraudarán y serán ciudadanos ejemplares. Someone once said, the future is bought with the present. At Royal High School Knights, this is the present and you are the future. You have the responsibility to your community and our country to be the best. You have received a superior academic education from your school. Go out to the world and take the challenge. Now, class of 1998, the moment we have waited for. By the power vested in me by the state of California and by the El Monte Union High School District Board of Trustees and upon the certification by the principal of Arroyo High School, Mr. Tony Ortega, I hereby accept the class of 1998 for graduation from Arroyo High School. Congratulations. Alberto Asubido, two years perfect attendance. Sarah Adriana Bugarin. Serena Irene Adami. Frank Blanco. Mark Anthony Aguirre, one year perfect attendance. Maria Raquel Carlos. Naomi Bettina Aguilar. Matthew Robert Block. Daniel Alcala. Gilda Carillo. Kenya Alas. Scott Boyce. Frank Amesqua. Magali Carvajal. Christy Aseo. Fong Tan Bui, three years perfect attendance. Carlos Mauricio Arajo. Gwendolyn Velasco. Carlina Avila. Kenneth James Buzzard. Thomas Gilbert Arredondo. Leslie Castaneda. Grace Diana Avila. Fernando Cabrera, one year perfect attendance. Hector Manuel Artiaga, one year perfect attendance. Lisa Monique Castaneda. Maricela Manuelos. Raul Carranza, one year perfect attendance. Ray Virus, one year perfect attendance. Pamela Castillo. Lupe Susana Barrera. Jesse Cirillo. Johnny Bang. Amber Denise Castro. Marin Fabiola Bessari. Jose Barba Jr. Nelly Ceballos. Charity Ann Becknell. Harry Dan Chan. Kevin Vargas, four years perfect attendance. Ariel Estella Cece. Eliza Beatrice Borja. Tommy Chow. Sean
Sean Patrick Blackwell. Julia Chan, four years perfect attendance. Edward Kenmu Chow, one year perfect attendance. Jesse Diaz. Hu Pao Chang. Irene Delgado. Chin Tung Chen. Viola Delgado. Hung Chi Chen, one year perfect attendance. Joshua Christopher Dingley, four years perfect attendance. Dennis David Chillen. Amy Kathleen Delira. Lily Chen, one year perfect attendance. Tylee Du, four years perfect attendance. Charles Cole. Joni Patricia Delisle. Yvette Contreras. Gabriel Delfonso Duran. Christopher Mark Corral. Jennifer Dang Doe. Darlene Cortez. Ryan Allen Egbrick, one year perfect attendance. Aaron Joseph Curtis. Colleen Marie Eddy. Luce Maria Cortez. Jeremy R. Erie, one year perfect attendance. Amelda Enriquez, two years perfect attendance. April Dawn Crosby, one year perfect attendance. Ernesto Escada. Miguel Deanda, one year perfect attendance. Iris Annette Estrada. Amelda Cuevas, one year perfect attendance. Juan Luis Estrada, Jr. Frank Deaver. Myrna Evangelista. Linda Ku. Braulio Fabian. Vincent Eric De La Cruz. Valerie Monique Fabacher. Adina Nicole Dalmeida. Thomas Andrew Feller. Edward Delgadillo, three years perfect attendance. Sofia Gabriela Figueroa. Ignacio Fonseca, one year perfect attendance. Valerie Tenedero de Leon, one year perfect attendance. Christina Yuting Fon, two years perfect attendance. Michael Anthony Fraley. Rachel Hernandez. Crystal Marie Frontino. Nicandro Gutierrez, two years perfect attendance. Fernando Frias, one year perfect attendance. Christine Maria Hicks. Michelle Melody Gomez. Hector Guzman. Richard Fuentes. Tiffany Hillis. Aaron Garcia. Edward Anthony Cache. Albert Anthony Garcia. Jenny Mary Garcia, three years perfect attendance. Jonathan William Hawes. Luis Alberto Garcia. Sandy Ho. Cecilia M. Gonzalez. Kevin Eric Hawkins, one year perfect attendance. Sergio Ricardo Garcia Gonzalez, one year perfect attendance. Lee Min Hua, two years perfect attendance. Mariana Gonzalez. Gabriel David Hernandez, one year perfect attendance. Antonio Garza, Jr. Joanne Wang. Jennifer Kathleen Garrell. Juan Edgar Hernandez. Midhead Gabriel. Zoila Villanueva. Angelica Gutierrez. Juan Carlos Zuniga, two years perfect attendance. Van Quiet Win. Luisa Cristina Gutierrez. Daryl Ferreira, one year perfect attendance. Renee Gonzalez, one year perfect attendance. Misty Marie Juarez, two years perfect attendance. Valerie Clarissa Henry. John Edward Heidecheck. 
Ruben Gonzalez. Diana Guadalupe Hernandez. David Duck Hong. Bobby Lee Gillen. Anna Qua, four years perfect attendance. Ben Z Hugh, one year perfect attendance. Erin Jessica Legareta. Christine S. Kim, three years perfect attendance. Wahan Lamb, three years perfect attendance. Iberi. Vivian Lacerio. Beth Aaron Knight. Randy Albert Lassos. Juan Haragi. Marisol Loera. Samantha Ann Kreitzer. Hawin Lee. Two years perfect attendance. Jimmy Joe Chang. Patricia Loera. Jocelyn A. Kwan. Michael M. Liu. Peter Joe, four years, perfect attendance. Erica Yolanda Lopez. Linda Lamb. Takwa Lee. Spencer Richard Johnston. Judy Lopez. Honey Joy Malika Zaragoza. Eric Michael Leanne. Kevin David Jordan. Rosalia Maria Lopez, two years perfect attendance. Shannon Hope Lasoya. Francisco Licia. Marco Antonio Juarez. Nita Lawatanapansa, one year perfect attendance. Amber Joy Bogason. Brandon Hong Lu, two years perfect attendance. Brandon Hao Kwa, three years perfect attendance. Claudia Lozano, three years perfect attendance. Tan Tingok Lee, two years perfect attendance. Brandon Alfredo Lopez. Jason David Ward. Cami Liu, one year perfect attendance. Amanda Ledesma. Robert Lopez Jr. Debbie Lee, one year perfect attendance. Roslyn Lee, one year perfect attendance. Ruben Ramon Loyo, one year perfect attendance. Sheck Moon Lamb, four years perfect attendance. Jennifer Patrice Magalanes. Henry Delu. Carlos Francisco Melgar. Carla Mangeras. Norma Moreno, three years perfect attendance. Thomas Pan Wong, four years perfect attendance. Aaron Michael Miller. Lorena Marquez. Heidi Mountjoy. Trevi Lou, four years perfect attendance. Joseph Daniel Milano. Angel Maria Martinez. Daniel Craig Walker, two years perfect attendance. Eduardo Mora. Elisa Renee Martinez. Jasmine Murguia. Steve Lee, one year perfect attendance. Luis Guillermo Moran, one year perfect attendance. Melissa Lissette Martinez. Fong Dung T. Nguyen, one year perfect attendance.